Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. We are at MWC 2016 taking a look at the new ZTE smartphone. This was just released here at the show. This is the ZTE Blade 7. So this actually has the kind of same Nubia kind of feel that we're used to on a lot of smartphones. This is probably what you're more familiar with. So we have the hardware buttons down here. This is back. This is uh, your multitask. And while well, you can see it while we're down here that it has a really nice 2.5D display. So um, ZTE is just kind of known for uh, having a, a mid-range smartphone with very high-end features. So we have a great 2.5D display that has a resolution of, well, it's 5.2 inches and it's 1080p. And then it has a full unibody metal design, which I really like. And it, it kind of feels a bit slippery, but there is kind of an edge on the side there that does make it a little bit grippable. Taking a walk around the system here, we have the volume rocker. Here we have the headphone jack. There's a noise cancelling microphone right around there. On this side we have the dual SIM card slot with the ability to turn one of those slots into a micro SD card for expansion. As for storage, it comes with 16 gigabytes of onboard with 2 gigabytes of RAM and it is running a MediaTek processor that is the uh, MT6753 octa-core at 1.3 gigahertz. Here we've got the power button and if we keep on going around, we've got stereo speakers on the bottom and I thought that that was USB Type-C but it is a micro um, or you, micro SD. <laughs> it is just your plain old <laughs> micro USB connector. Woo! All right, so around the back here, we've got a 13 megapixel camera, and then we've got to see a two tone flash right in there. Now, if we take a look at the UI, well, here we're into the widgets. You know, there there is the classic ZTE thing, well, Asian thing, where we don't have an app launcher. It is running Android Marshmallow, which is rather nice. We just head into the settings and about phone. You can see Android 6.0. And then it has things like a FM radio, which you don't often see uh, on handsets. Now, as for battery, we're running a 2,500 milliampere bad boy on this. And you shouldn't be afraid of that because honestly, uh, I've used some of the Nubia line where it's like a 2,100 milliampere battery and it's gotten me through the day with tethering. So this has just been a quick hands-on of the ZTE V7. This is the new uh, smartphone from ZTE launched here at MWC 2016 and I'm your host Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks.